So I just want to respond to your request uh, regarding 18 Remy Street and applying a recreational use zone. That pro that property is a M3 zone class, which is a heavy industrial. It does allow, um, subject to how much of the building or area that the building is within, a 25% use for other accessory uses, like recreational, which should be fine in the park. We'd have to confirm with the city, but you're gonna be up against the fee structure. The one thing I did note in looking at the zoning bylaw as it applies to recreational uses is the M4 zone class. M4 does allow for recreation facility, subject to 0.5, which is also very favorable, is permitted as a principal use and may occupy 100% gross floor area of the lot. So in accordance with complementary use policy. So you can have it 100% use of the lot in an M4 zone class. And I believe, you know, we'd always double check with the city, but I believe you're gonna be exempt from the fee structure. As good as that is, the unfortunate side of it is the city of Kingston has not allocated in the planning structure very much M4 zones at all it's it's i'm just going to zoom in this is the city's dash map which we use to confirm zonings and it's kind of shaded blue areas of are the parks where you see the industrial zone classes so you do have a pocket of m4 at the top by the 401 that's where the hotel chains are the robinson industries is up here so there is the allowance occasionally something may open up there that's where the trampoline clubs and other uses are within but it's a very small in the context of the city space very small the only other one is where our office is located um, in the cat park um, right off of gardeners road you'll see an m4 it should pop up here um, a little further down uh, yeah there's m4 there and we get down to fortune and it should pop up here somewhere ones there it is hang on there it is right here there's a little m4 here this is actually where our office is so there is the allowance of an m4 uh, it seems to be allocated to a very small pocket within i want to zoom in so we can see that that little red line is defining the areas so it's like this so it's the back building of of where we are Recreational uses would be allowed. They don't appear to be in the front. They would then be subject to the front areas to that development charge. And it just carries on. The mo most of the stuff when you look at it is M3, M2. So the city has probably, it looks like three pockets because there is also one, a very small one as well in the east end, but it's really limited and created a bit of a monopoly for the recreational uses apart from paying the fee. It's a bit of a money grab from the city side of it. And it's unfortunate because Recreational uses are a positive attribute to the industrial parks. They're a positive attribute to the community, um, positive for health, positive for so many other reasons, but it's just very restrictive where we put them. And the other park is the East End Park. We see a bit of M4 just on the front section, and this is really up to where the more the clinics are. They, they eliminated it in the back end, so there's no M4s. Everything else would be subject to the fee grab from the city, which can run from $25 per square foot easily adds up to hundreds of thousands of dollars on a recreational use because of your floor area or in the neighborhood of twenty thousand dollars per thousand of square feet and again it just makes it very difficult to bring recreational uses into the parks and has created a bit of a fee structure so unless we find something in the m4 class or again in a retail use where we can be more broad on the uses certainly the industrial parks are much more prohibitive and going to create that issue where we have to deal with a fee cost involved. And even that is subject to the 25% allocation within each building area um, to the recreational use. So I hope that assists. Um, this one to answer the question specifically, yes, it looks like it's a possibility, but it does look like there will be a fee involved and we need to confirm that with the city. Cheers.